We're only 26 minutes away from the land and we went up some really, really steep hills. It was going like five miles an hour. I saw the engine heat going up and, uh, and there's lots of smoke. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but yeah, there you can. You can see that very clearly. Good morning, today is the day. Today is the day that we're moving to Costa Rica. I, I can't Does believe that it. Hello. Oh, there's little kittens that are. Aww. They've been rescued, hey! So, we are about to go back to the bus and head to the border. We'll be there within a half, an hour and a half or so, and then moment of truth, hopefully. Praying that the border crossing goes well and mm -hmm. smoothly and quickly, and then we just drive to our land. Yeah, and... I don't even, uh, that doesn't compute. Once, <laughs> once we've parked up on our land, we still need to figure a few things out, like yeah. exactly where the bus is going, but at least for the meantime, we're gonna park up. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Also, if you don't understand why we didn't sleep on the bus last night and where we are, make sure you check out the last vlog. This is like such an epic place. Beautiful people, beautiful story. Go check that out. Yeah, this is Tim, if you didn't see the last video. He's gonna give us a ride back to the bus now. This would be a great way to do it. Ready? I'm gonna start her up. <laughs> <laughs> We are back on the bus. Tim picks up any of the locals that need a ride, uh, which I think is great. It's like yeah, a lot of people don't have cars or motorcycles or anything, so they just have to depend on other people or walk for hours and hours. So yeah, that's why it's great. The space in the back of his car is like jump in to anyone. So anyway, this yeah. this uh, lady with her two kids uh, needs a ride into town, so we're just cleaning up and we're going to give her a ride on our way to the border. Here we go. Woo! Oh, ooh, that's bad. These boxes have taken a beating. Dang. We are 30 minutes from the Costa Rican border. We're feeling prepared. We're feeling hopeful that this is a smooth process. Uh, there's a guy waiting for us that's gonna help us get through, kind of work his magic, hopefully. It might cost us a few hundred dollars, but uh, it's worth it with the bus. And then, I can't quite imagine how it's gonna feel as we're driving in yet. It's kind of this far off, distant, Thing, but I'm hoping when we get in it's just going to be complete relief and excitement for this next chapter. Woo! We just got a message from our helper who's going to help us get out of Nicaragua into Costa Rica. He said we should wait a little while because there's a public bus and it's going to take ages so we are just chilling. Raya made us some smoothies. We're trying to gather our feelings. This is the last little hurdle. It's been a wild few days. Honestly, this whole year has been wild living out the bus. Uh, being on the move constantly. Yeah. And today we will finally ground down before our wedding. How are you feeling? Um, yeah, not great. I've definitely been like, anxiety's been higher in the last couple of weeks than it has been my whole life all these border crossings and paperwork and I just think the fact that like our wedding's in three weeks so we have to get down there everything we own is on the bus so like we can't have anything taken off it just feels like a huge weight on my chest and I can't even imagine how I'm gonna I think as soon as we cross the border I might just like I just like release and just cry because I've been holding on to like so much anxiety and stress and trying to make sure we're prepared and this has been way more adventurous and I think in this stage of my life I just don't think I have the capacity for this level of like stress and anxiety and everything might go wrong and there's been 
times in my life when like that could be fun, but right now it's not. So I'm just ready to get there. Mm. That's how I feel. So we've just been envisioning what it's going to be like driving onto our land, turning the bus off for maybe it's the last time ever, who knows, but completing this chapter today and just feeling grounded, seeing with the breeze, just like really imagining how it's going to be this afternoon. Um, I think it's good to focus on the positive, the law of attraction, rather than dwelling on the negative, but I know there has been some challenges that we've overcome so far. We can overcome any more challenges today. Uh, I'm feeling positive. It's cool. nice having the, a yeah. the AC on because yeah, so the last few days I've never sweated so much in my life. So yeah. we've got the AC pumping, that helps bring down the stress a bit. And this is it. Let's yeah. do it. We're going to do this. We're also going to put the cameras away just because we, we heard yesterday talking to Tim that anyone seen as potentially journalists in the country, they're super tight. I think they've even banned journalists coming in. So we don't want to appear like we've been filming a bunch of stuff. It's lucky we got the cameras in in the first place. So we'll put the cameras away, we'll go through the border, and uh, we'll, up the we'll update you in a couple of hours. We just made a bunch more copies of all of our documents, and by the way, the reason that we brought our own printer and copier is because most borders, the only place to get a copy, are places like this and sometimes they run out of ink or there's no power and you have to like if you walk all the way up there you find out you need a copy you need to walk back and <sighs> yeah. one of the best decisions we made was getting a printer and it was only like 150 bucks or yeah we could have got one for like it saved bucks. us multiple hours of walking and trying to find copiers for sure how long has it been four hours i think almost i think five yeah so we are literally on the verge of entering costa rica with I, I don't, think we've done everything. I don't even want to go through the monotony of paperwork. Like, literally, it's like getting something stamped, going back, another stamp back. Getting a copy of that stamp. Drive here. Oh, no, you forgot something. Go back. You need yeah. to get another thing. Anyway, it's been a lot. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think now, literally, he's, this guy's saying, this little slip in my passport is the last thing that they're going to take. And then we can literally just drive into Costa Rica. It's all done, all the paperwork. I doesn't I don't I don't believe in till it's real. The other I'm not thing letting myself get sick. The other thing to add a little bit of stress onto the whole situation is we are like burning like the we're literally in the last tiny bit of diesel in the tank. I forgot about that. And there's a gas station like a mile down the road. I think we're going to make it. But until we pull into the gas station fill up I feel that that's when we can celebrate. So literally I think in 5 minutes we can have a big party celebrate. Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. It hasn't hit me yet, <laughs> no. but okay, let's just at least try and get through the, this last little yeah. customs check. And then the gas we'll keep you updated. Whew. This is where we're at on the, on the fuel. Literally, it's like right on empty. This is the last frontier. Okay, he's taking the things, he's gonna hopefully just check them and then... Oh my gosh, it's right there, it's right there. Come on baby. Gracias. I think this is it. Yeah, I think this is real. I think we're in Costa Rica. This is it. I don't want to believe it, but I mean, I do want to believe it, but I think that's it. Oh my gosh. No, I can't. I'm literally shaking. I can't believe that's real. We're home, baby. Let me fill it to the gas station. And then we can celebrate properly. Oh, classic! You think 
think you're done. I know, that's why I didn't and want to- And now we're not. I didn't want to celebrate yet. There's always a the last oh. little hurdle. We're nine miles away from the next gas station. And the guy's like, oh, you, maybe Louie can take a taxi, go get the diesel, come back. It's a 20 minute drive one way. So, so this is going to make me feel way better if we put this in because then we're okay, not Okay, like, so what, what are you doing? So this is a little pump for the, for the can of diesel. And this will just pump the last little bit of diesel out of our can into the... How much is in there? Um, enough. Definitely enough to get us there. Oh, okay. By the way, I just brought this thing back with me from LA. This, this one broke. Because the other one broke. So if I hadn't brought that, we would have been screwed right now. I'm so glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> it's flowing. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's it. wild because literally yeah. in about three hours we're gonna yeah, park the bus up this. and never drive yeah, it again. Know. So yeah. this is just, oh my gosh, why? Oh, just just classic, isn't it? <sighs> I just can't believe we're done. Oh my god. 18 minutes. Okay, what's the name of it? 18 minutes, let's do this. Uh, where's my gut? This way? Filled up with diesel, I filled my spare can of diesel, I filled my spare can of petrol for the generator. The generator is going, we've got the AC pumping. We're now filling up our fresh water tank. I'm gonna see if we can get some drinking water, but we might need to do that later. And uh, yeah, we're about to head off. I feel like the relief has started to sink in. I don't think we're gonna fully celebrate until we're parked up on the land because we've still got a bit of an adventure to get there, but four hours away, baby. It's literally 130 miles away. little hurdle we're only 26 minutes away from the land and we went up some really really steep hills it was going like five miles an hour I saw the engine heat going up and uh, and there's lots of smoke uh, I don't know if you can see this but yeah there you can you can see that very clearly so there's a slight diesel leak which I haven't been able to fix but I didn't want to well I didn't think we needed to because we're so close but the diesel is obviously burning off and uh, yeah the engine temperature was like super super high and uh, I feel like we're just gonna leave it here for maybe 30 minutes to try and cool off a bit before we do the final push because the final road up to Alegria where we we live in is um, it's very steep okay we managed to make it down the hill into the small town near where Alegria is. 
and um, but I was super low on oil. So we filled the oil, the engine's sounding a lot better. We're about to go up the final hill. We're literally 10 minutes away, but it's 10 minutes of windy uphill road. So we're hoping the bus makes it. It's, we just calculated, this is, since we left LA, we've done approximately 10,000 miles. Uh, and we have three to go. Stopped off again, we're seven minutes away. The bus started beeping an alarm I've never heard before. It said oil and water, and the temperature was very hot. Um, so we're just patiently making our way up this hill. Uh, yeah, I think after driving all day, well, all year, the bus is finally limping over the finish line. I put the little hazard lights on as well but yeah we've got to go pretty much all the way up there past there I think okay off again what we do it seven minutes oh this part is super steep but you've got this just steady is this the steepest bit I hope so uh I don't remember Okay, the engine got pretty hot on that last hill, so we've just stopped. I'm letting the coolant flow through, cool the engine down a bit. We're almost back to good. How many minutes away? We are seven, seven minutes away. Oh my gosh. Two mile, 2.2 mile. Wow. We're on to the unpaved portion of the road but at least it's not very steep. This is great. You got this, you're doing so well. I don't know if you can tell how high up we are, but we have officially overheated again. Louis opening the hood. I'm gonna sign that officially because yeah. these are pouring everywhere. Yeah, the last, this last minute is the steepest bit so far. I feel like it's not going into the right gear, but I, don't, I can't stop now. No. Shit. Yeah, we stopped. Okay. You back up to the flat bit, remember? This one flat Wait, bit. Wait, let me let me go down to first gear, see if that can does anything. This is the situation. The diesel leak that we noticed the other day, uh, we were gonna get it checked out in Nicaragua, but it would have delayed us a day. We're only half a mile away. So I was like, look, the bus might never move again. So let's just get there. And when the engine's not running, there's no diesel leaking, but once the, when the engine's running, there's a diesel leak in it and it's got worse. And I think that's created a lack of power we're going to try this again. We need to get full speed up.
finally turned in to the driveway of Alegria. It's marked wrong on Google. I almost went the wrong way and got us stuck, but this is feeling good. I need to get to the right here because that's free. It's kind of wild. If I didn't know trucks came down here, I'd be way more nervous, you know. But Careful with the ditch. You see that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. There's a dude, the security dude, he's going to lead the way for us. Just, um, just keep an eye, take the torque, take this guy, you got it? Okay, this is what this is the this is what we're dealing with. Okay. He's saying to go back to like straighten out. Wow. Oh my gosh, we freaking made that. Please God, make that the last thing we have to deal with. This is it. This is our lot. And there's the bus. It's the last few feet of this freaking trip. It is the moment of truth. Oh my gosh, this is it. Oh my gosh. Gracias. <laughs> we are exhausted and uh, we were going to have a little chat to camera but I think we'll do it tomorrow morning so we'll see you in the morning. We made it. Woo. Right, <laughs> we, we have landed. We are here in Costa Rica after an the ordeal. The journey of a lifetime. <laughs> Very crazy. Um, oh my god, I, ca I cannot believe that we're here. Yeah, it hasn't hit us yet and we're definitely going to need a lot of time just to recover, recuperate. I feel like it'll take like months for it to hit us that we live in Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah. I don't even wild. understand. Even seeing the bus here, it's like, because we're so used to just parking and leaving the next day. It's like, no, this is where it lives yeah. on this land. At least for the, I reckon at least maybe a year until we figure out and have something else that we're going to live in. Mm -hmm. The long term plan is if you're new to this channel, that we're going to be slowly planning and building our dream house on our land here. In Gro this eco-community. Yeah, eco-community. Yeah. This is the birthing stages very early on of the community and we're going to be growing our own food. We're actually already, I think, able to this week like collect mm -hmm. our own box of vegetables from the garden that's already mm -hmm. been kind of operating and growing. And some of the communal spaces are almost ready so we can show you that and there's mm. a pool and... Yeah, this, this is going to be a whole nother journey of like designing our house, building our house, learning to live off the land. It's, yeah, there's so much incredible content coming for you. But for now, I think I still need to process like the trip. Yeah. Just everything. What <laughs> do you feel? What oh do you feel gosh. like? Obviously, we could go, probably chat for hours, but what yeah. are you feeling on an emotional level like right now as we've landed after that kind of crazy couple of months? I think relief is the first thing, especially the last week 
as you've probably seen in the last few videos, like, it's been insane and one of the most stressful and honestly, like, toughest weeks. I don't even know how much we were able to film or show on camera, but there's probably a like a lot more behind the scenes that mm. you don't even you probably didn't even get to see um it's been a lot and i've cried so many times and i feel like i've had like panic attacks and so just being here it's the first time i felt like safe in my body in i don't even know months i guess so that it just feels like the biggest like yeah i guess relief is the best and also just still processing and can't fully believe it and hot is how i'm feeling yeah, right now we are sweating right now we, we know we've got the fans that we've been mm -hmm. had this whole road trip down but we've turned them off right now so we're sweating yeah what about um, you yeah i feel like i think we talked about this in one of the other vlogs but like obviously the timing of kind of getting down here um and having our wedding planned hasn't been we didn't perfectly plan it out and I think these next few weeks before the wedding uh, we need to prioritize just relaxing and mm -hmm. recuperating um, yeah. because obviously that's going to be such an incredible week and I'm so excited to share that for both of us we're so excited to share that with you as well on that journey probably so, actually the next few videos yeah yeah this is probably the last video right before, yeah I think we'll yeah. I think this this is us arriving we'll, we'll mm -hmm. share our wedding and kind of planning that and just the amazing week we'll have and then we'll start uh, sharing just our journey of being on this land mm -hmm. the bus and everything but yeah I feel like my my head's just kind of like spinning right mm -hmm. now and uh, it's hard to really describe in words how it feels yeah. being here <laughs> I feel like super excited very overwhelmed mm -hmm. and yeah just I think there's so many things it's like a whole new this is the biggest jump into a new season of our lives yeah. that you can imagine. Like everything's changing, getting married. We're now, we've got a home base, like starting to plan, building, we're in a different country and we're learning Spanish. I'm day by day getting slightly yeah. better. Um, there's so much to learn about. I mean, even walking around the garden, like there's so many vegetables that we don't even know about yet. There's just so much yeah. to learn that and it feels like, like we're infants in th this. There's a new community life. obviously that's gonna be living yeah. here and there's a few people that are kind of temporary, temporarily living in the area until they build here so we're there's a whole community of new people that we're starting to bond with and that we want to mm -hmm. connect with so these are the people that we're going to be like raising our kids with so it's like our new family that we haven't even really met yet and whew, there's a lot <laughs> last night we just laid in bed like mm. just just yeah couldn't really believe what was going on i know so but i'm excited to share everything with you and um i know a lot of people are Especially after the pandemic and stuff, a lot of people are like dreaming of moving out to the land, growing food, living in community. So hopefully us sharing our journey will help some of you like learn about the process. We'll definitely be sharing the ups and the downs and the realities of it. And mm -hmm. yeah, excited for all of it. But firstly, our wedding. Yes. <laughs> uh, and if there's anything specific you'd love to know about this journey and just like what we're doing here and our plans and everything, maybe Maybe we could do like a live Q&A or a Q&A at oh, some yeah. point or yeah, we'll this try would be and a great, questions. Yeah. Put some questions down below if you have any questions about even like everything about us moving here, why we chose here, everything. Put yeah. it in the, just put it down below. <laughs> I'm like dead. Put it down below and we will get back to you soon. And if you're not already, we'd love you to subscribe to this channel. It's mm -hmm. really exciting. I think this is the most excited I've been about making content for years. Um, I don't know how you feel, but I feel like it's it's a whole new. I think I need to sleep yeah. for a couple of weeks, and then <laughs> and then I'll be excited about it again. But yeah, okay. Thank you so much for watching and joining us on this epic journey down to our land. We freaking made it. We made it. I honestly didn't know if we were gonna make it quite a few times. We only but just made it. We're, we literally just made it, <laughs> but we're here. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye. In less than 30 minutes, everyone's going to be gathering under the sacred tree. Um, I haven't showered, haven't got changed. Here's my wedding outfit. Amazing news is there are currently monkeys chilling in the sacred tree.